I've been a web developer for three years, but I've been a developer ever since my schooling. I've been very passionate about technology and programming. Uh, I used to program on, on whatever computer I had at home. Then uh, I did my civil engineering from IIT Delhi, but even then I was writing all sorts of simulations. So programming has been uh, a hobby. Almost. Contra Systems is into uh, custom software development and consultancy. So we have some uh, big name clients like Coke and eBay and we are writing very huge software for them. For example, uh, the complete Coke royalty platform is uh, developed by Contra. And uh, we work on a lot of technologies, Java, .NET. I, I mean, not, we work on the technology that's the best suited for the project. And, uh, we use Flex uh, and RIS on, on a couple of them. Uh, I currently am working on uh, this pro this uh, admin suite for, uh, uh, as I said, uh, we have written a huge royalty framework for Coke, uh, Coca-Cola, and uh, we are writing this admin suite which lets uh, thousands of uh, marketing people manage their, their uh, brand promotions for Coke. So there's this huge uh, admin suite. And apart from that, uh, I'm working on one more project, which is a document manager, uh, a document creator. So uh, if you're on eBay and you're selling something and you want to put a nice uh, interactive uh, banner on it, then you can design it using that software. Uh, I use technologies, uh, any technology which is best suited for the project that I'm developing. I see technology more as an enabler, uh, as a means to get to, to get things done and not as, uh, I mean, I, I don't learn technology for the sake of learning uh, and so does Condra. Uh, I mean, uh, here we are uh, choosing technology which is best suited for the project after a lot of evaluation. Uh, I've been working with Flex for, uh, for, uh, for quite some time. I've been working with Flex for three years and it's become a tool of choice for me right now because uh, it's very easy to use and it's very versatile, you can uh, develop, you can prototype stuff very rapidly and you can uh, deploy these to web, mobile, desktop, everywhere. Mobile platforms, uh, I mean we are not a product company, so uh, I, would, I wouldn't say mobile platforms are directly uh, good for us, but I mean since we are, a, we have clients and mobile is so big these days, everybody wants to be on the mobile. So, uh, because the clients need it, so it's very important for us. Uh, so, uh, here's a, a Blackberry playbook that I just won. There was, a, there, there was this contest sometime back where Blackberry was giving away free playbooks to people who could write applications for it and get get the and the application had to be of sufficient quality to make it make it into the app store and uh, if, if it did then then you got a playbook so here's what i won and uh, here's the application that i wrote this application is uh, it's an offline browser so this uh, so the browser supplied with the playbook it doesn't support saving your web pages and since this is a wi-fi only device uh, you want to save your web pages so that you can view them later so this is exactly what this app does uh, it's it's like a simple browser if you hit the save button it will it will save the page for you and you, you can see the list of your saved web pages here and you can for example i saved this web page some time ago uh, this is the this is an India Times page. It uh, comes back with in all its formatting and styling. Uh, then you have uh, this TechCrunch page, which again I saved some time back. And uh, and the app has been uh, on the store for uh, a month, and I've seen uh, more than a thousand downloads of this, and I'm still working on it. This is the page that I just saved.
Mobile platforms are uh, actually getting more important than any other platforms right now. Uh, people uh, with, with, the, with, with these smartphones and all these tablets coming out, everybody has uh, a smartphone. I mean, everybody, almost everybody has a smartphone now, Androids, iPhones. So mobile platforms is big because it's people want information on the go. On, um, so uh, if you can make this any information available on the go, it's, uh, it's what people want. Uh, it's not just about uh, uh, being a web developer. Uh, in, in any field, you have to be passionate. Uh, in, in most companies, it's easy to find a lot of people who, who are doing coding because they have it's their job. But uh, to be a good web developer, you need to have a passion. Uh, not just for Indian audience. Uh, again, uh, mobile is big. So, and when on mobile, uh, you want the device to do something, and you want it to be interactive. You so if, if the application is rich, then uh, it's uh, it's much easier for the. It's very interesting for the user, and he wants to do more with his device. And rich internet applications are just that. I've seen uh, a lot of apps uh, uh, coming up, uh, coming, uh, trying to do a video because video consumption is the first thing that uh, a lot of people do when they get smartphones. Uh, there are a lot of applications uh, which are uh, rotating around video. Then there are applications, uh, uh, location-based applications, which let you, uh, which will find you restaurants or movies or uh, coffee bar, coffee shops, bars near near a place. These are the two biggest trends in mobile, I guess. Uh, for budding with new web developers, uh, my only advice is uh, go participate in communities more. Uh, because communities are, are, are a very nice way to learn. Uh, knowledge sharing helps you uh, learn faster and better than you can do on your own. Besides that, uh, pick a technology uh, which helps you do what you actually want to do and don't pick technologies uh, just because you think it's going to land you a job. Uh, I mean, I, I, I never picked, uh, picked a technology because I wanted to land a job but I, I, and, I, and I'm really happy doing what I'm doing. So that's what matters the most.